one, as you may remember from my studio monitor build, I'm a bit picky about my kit. If I'm going to build something from a kit, I want it to be something useful. For silly stuff, I'll just make my own projects. Today, we are going to build something I'll definitely use, the All Dry Go, a handheld retro gaming computer based on one of my favorite chips, the ESP32. Yes, I have a favorite chip. No, I'm not a weirdo. Even if you're not a hardware fanatic, the ESP32 is really neat if you read up on it. I used the purest version, the ESP8266, in my Wi Fi hacking drone video. As some of you know, I'm not a gamer, not because I don't think it's worthwhile. I really admire skilled gamers and if you study online, there is a tremendous amount of fascinating things going in gaming tech. It's just that if I was going to do it, I would want to do it well and put the time in required to be good at it. My passion is DIY and fabrication, so that's where I put my time in. Even though online gaming is not my focus, I sometimes enjoy some good button mashing retro gaming fun. I can run emulators on my phone, but it's just not the same without physical buttons. The All Dry Go is about $35, so very reasonably priced alternative. Now let's see how tough it's going to be put together. So this is the plastic button set. and. The enclosure in the back, enclosure, the front enclosure and the back enclosure, and more button, and some tiny screws. I think it's the LC, no, the the protector, and uh, the back enclosure, and some silicone wipers for the buttons. USB cable. All dry gold board, the motherboard. Uh, there is a speaker and some header pin in it. A lithium battery. So this is the LCD window, but it's in the back. Let me open it. LCD window is pretty fragile, so I gotta be careful when I press it against uh, the, the front enclosure. Hmm. I should use a um, flash cutter.
right i forget to put the sd card in okay now let's put the sd card in. the business of loading the games on is a bit dodgy but the instructions are clear enough let's assume i own all these games and these are legitimate backups copies or something okay i'm just going to go to the old drive wiki page scroll down past the instructions on how to format an sd card you can read that later and click download skeleton files once you unzip the skeleton files you have two folders roms and odroid drag those to the formatting sd card then move your game roms to the appropriate folder i'm going to insert a card Street Fighter, let's try this out. Chun Li. No one laugh at my lack of skills. If I put the time in, I'm sure I will kick all your asses. This is a great family project. Or better yet, if your teenager is getting a bit carried away with online gaming and you think they need a break, give them this instead. Want to play games? Got to build it first. There are pre-built units for a similar price available, but I think why not get a bit of education in at the same time? Okay, that's it for today. I'll put the link for the All Dry Go in the description box. I actually bought this, which is not so bad, but it's better if I can get review units. You can help with that by clicking the subscribe button. More subscribers, more companies will send me products to show you. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, 